Well, here's my candle glowing bright. So far, so good. But I'm not very comfortable with a big open candle dribbling down on a little lid. So I might buy another one of these um, on the day after tomorrow because I just realized tomorrow is a public holiday. Because as you can see, I mean, there are things that can catch a light. There's tissues. This is a chemical here, so it shouldn't be anywhere near it. any fire. I guess I'll just move that to the side, actually. And, you know, there's wooden boxes. And, you know, this is another thing that shouldn't be nail polish. Polish that shouldn't be any near any fire. Neither should any of these. I mean, this is cardboard packaging with plastic and plastic and plastic so all these things can catch on fire but I mean with a few centimeters away um I'm sure this flame is going to be kind of safe but I I think I prefer these little ones actually I need to buy like them once a month but they last you know a couple at least two weeks but I think this is a dangerous way I mean if I had a lantern it might be okay but this is a dangerous way to have a candle I think it's just I don't I don't think it's safe enough so I think I'll just abandon this one dollar candle this is two dollars this is one dollar for a special so I think I'll just buy another one of these because I feel as though this is a bit of an open flame it's a possible hazard and I don't I don't know what it's like to because the wax is obviously gonna you know, start dribbling down the longer the flame burns sort of thing, so I don't really feel comfortable with it like that. <laughs> but I mean it'll it'll do for the night and maybe tomorrow, but any other night and I'll be like I really should get something get another candle so I'm thinking this one because I, li I like this one I like the aroma this one has a a nice aroma but it's I just don't like the open flame really without a jar to hold it and stuff so I might just buy another one of these so that I feel safe using my candles at night